Well, how's everybody doing? Welcome to my forensic show. What you're looking at here is a magnifier. I'm going to use auto contrast by channel. And what that does is separates the color. Not only does the contrast, I'll show you auto contrast. How's everybody doing? Well, we're going to see if we can find something. Okay, up in here. Now, there's an item right there. Okay. You don't have to make this stuff up. There's stuff in the clouds. This is, we are in New Zealand, Australia, Queensland, um, and a number of places. I think both locations. And here's the auto contrast. You see how it paints the ship the silver that it is? Well, if you've never been to this show, get ready because I'll point stuff out now. One of the things I want to point out real quick, you see the black on the edge of the clouds. Let me do regular contrast, right? see down here the stuff behind the clouds now I want to show you this is the areas you'll see black these are what I believe and what I've been seeing and been taught is these are uh, blue beam or something but see right above that right here see that little object now let's go to auto contrast by channel so it's going to channel out the colors of what that really is so here we go here's the black edge and I can't zoom any more than this. This is about 5,000 times. And this is a forensic tool they would use for like murder cases, for fingerprints, for blood samples. So it differentiates, it differentiates between, if that is even the word. Um, but anyways, it just makes a difference between the different colors. If you see, that's clearly a metal ship. Okay, now, there's a histogram equalization which for me, you know, you can see the outline of that ship. You can see the outline of some of these clouds. So, it's a very interesting tool. I stick around this auto contrast by channel to find what I'm going to find. Now, right down here, we got a triangle item. Look at regular contrast, auto contrast. So we've got a triangle looking item. Okay, so... I have a bunch of these, these shots set up of the skies in Australia, and I want you to see what's up there. This item right here I find very interesting. It's like a something. Let's go by channel. We're saying, like, let's go by the color differentiation. Look at that. It's a silver craft. What's the purple thing? Now, some of this stuff is in the other... It's not even in our atmosphere so much. It's in like past the stratosphere and the ionosphere. Now this is definitely a ship. Now my question always is, is it connected to a bigger ship? So I always look for that. Um, everything's nothing, right? So like, your mind can make up stuff, but that right there looks like a square object. It doesn't look like a cloud. And what's beneath it, if you look at up here in the, where the arrow is, see the arrow up there? That's the regular picture of it. But if you look close, you can see there's objects. Let's go to the next one. Um, okay. Uh oh. I thought we were going to the next one. Let's let's go pick one. Um, let me take it right there. Let's just pick something random. Well, you guys have seen this picture before. Let's pick something random. See, this is uh, unnarrated, unscripted. We'll pick something like. Let's pick this one. Okay. I'm going to go real close into these rocks. So we, we could change shift because I have, I have set up literally a bunch of them with these clouds. So let's take that rabbit hole because I think that's going to be fun. Now, this is a picture beside the sun. And Paul Johnson does great work like this. See all the uh, obscurity? There's a little face right there. A lot of this is the lenses. See, now the forensic gives about 500 times, sometimes even more. Let's go auto contrast. There's a light, there's a lens right there or something. And right here's something. Let's do the magnification eight times. Just a little bit closer. A little bit clearer. 
can't tell you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, right? I have no clue what it is. Wow, it's crazy. As you can see, there's definitely stuff up there to be checking out with this tool. This is all, here's the sun right here. So this is all right above the sun. You know, and I've seen moonshots with stuff like this. Now is that a red orb? Is that a lens refractor? That's a lens refractor for sure. A lot of this we're seeing it in multicolor planets, shiny planets, round rimmed objects, you know. So let's move on to the next object here. We're about five minutes, so I think I got time. We're just gonna do the um the magnifier for right now. Eight times auto contrast by color or by channel. Here we go. This object's very interesting. If you think that's a cloud, say so. If you don't, say so. Now this over here, this this stuff over here is mind boggling because I can see a lot of uh, metallic stuff. Um, let me show you a little auto contrast. You tell me what it is, right? There's a funny face. Sometimes you'll see some really cool faces with this tool. If you're into looking for faces with it. You see the black edges on the clouds? A lot of them are simulated. That's my take on it. Um, a lot of them are black orbs lined up on the edges of the clouds that are simulated. I mean, that little face, there's one face for you. But I'm also like, I'll step back, don't look at anything, look at the whole picture. And you look at this as the whole picture, it's, it's like an object or something up there. Can't get any crazier than this, right guys? So this is a forensic show. Look at them eyeballs staring at you. That's definitely dragon material. <laughs> Ooh, that's crazy looking. That's what this show's all about. Whatever's in the sky. This one looks like a house to me with a door. Um, maybe a cross right there on the right side. I don't know. It's kind of crazy, right? So let's look at it with the contrast on it. Uh, the color on it. That's even crazier. Let's look back down here to the dragon. Where's he at? Yeah, there you go. Looks just like a dragon, right? Tell me you don't see that. Come on. If you think that's just clouds, that's just fine. If you want the red pill, okay, here we go. What do you see the next thing I got on this video? This video, guys, I thought I'll just make a whole bunch of stuff. I'll just do a bunch of different things and pop it up. See how it goes. But this is the funnest because it's the most mysterious out of all these things I do. The forensic show is one of the craziest shows ever. So nobody's doing it. I won't tell anybody what the tool is. If you figured it out, then keep it a secret. You only just keep it a secret because you want to only be the one that has the show. And I only do it once in a while when I find good pictures like this. Look at that thing. Come on, this is by contrast or by channel. So it's got the color differentiation and the contrast. Now see this stuff in the background? It's way out in space. Don't ask me what it is, I don't know. So as you see stuff, it looks like nothing with the regular eye, right? This one I thought was very interesting. This is like some kind of craft, I think. This whole round thing right here. Just check that out for a second. Now look at it with your eye. See how the bottom is round and flat? Yeah, it's some kind of a ship. Crazy stuff. Let's do an auto by channel. Now look at it by channel. Looks like a craft on it. Yeah, it does. Anyways, I know you guys would be sitting there all day if you had this tool and never get nothing done. Look at that thing. Looks like one of those flying birds out in space. You see it on the walls of Egypt. The sphinx type birds in space. Right? Yep. Now this is a satellite dish. See, I'm really smart on that one. I, I discerned it. See, now look at it with your regular eye. It's a satellite. No, it's actually, I think, I believe it or not, I think this thing is a weather monitor. But anyways, back to the sky. Now look at these clouds down here. You see how they're all black lined? My question is, if these clouds are...